What's up YouTube? It's Coach Corey and today I want to give you guys the best brawlers for boss fight. I'm going to split it up into two rankings. I'm going to give you guys the top 10 bosses and I'm going to give you the top 10 overall brawlers for boss fight because let's be real, the majority of the time you aren't going to be the boss. So that'll be a ranking for basically the best brawlers to get the most coins from boss fight. So it's going to be a combination of if they're good at its boss and good verse boss. All right, so let's get into it and let's start out with probably the more exciting ranking and that's who are the best bosses. So I'm gonna give you guys the top 10 and let's start out at number 10. And as bosses, I'm gonna keep in mind for both of these rankings, it's gonna take in mind both maps. So currently we have Hall of the Mole King, which favors more melee brawlers. But with both of these maps as a boss, the ability to escape is also is definitely key. And so is the ability to deal area damage. So all these brawlers are gonna have one or two of those characteristics. And starting out at number 10, we have Daryl. So Daryl got some buffs recently, so he does a little bit more damage, and that definitely matters, especially as boss. So it's a little bit easier to kill people now. He's pretty good on Hall of the Mole King, but one of the main reasons he's a decent boss is his super. His ability to escape from one side of the map all the way to the other is a great characteristic as a boss. It makes it easy for him to escape from any situation, which is a big factor. He doesn't have a lot of range, so that's why he's not rated very high, but he's definitely a decent boss. Now, at number nine, we have the longest range brawler on these rankings, and that's Ricochet. Ricochet, in my opinion, is a pretty decent boss. He has His ability to bounce shots is good on both maps, so he does a high amount of damage. The uh, ugh, Where he is lacking is what I'm trying to say. He's lacking, and he doesn't have any area of effect, so he's not going to hit a lot of brawlers at once. He has good range and he can bounce around corners so that allows him to kill people fairly easily and his super is pretty good but that's where he's racking is he doesn't deal area damage and he can't escape. So let's go on to number 8. At number 8 for best bosses we have Tara. Tara is a pretty good boss, does area damage, has a decent reload as a boss and her super pulls people in. Her uh, supers or her star power doesn't actually have great health. It used to be really good. Now it dies kind of fast. So that's why she's not as good as she would have been earlier. So she's decent boss, does area damage, pulls people in. Uh, but that's pretty much it. And then number seven, we have Shelly. Shelly, again, does area damage and does a lot of damage up close. So good on Hall the Mole. Hall of the Mole King behind those walls, decent behind those walls on Calamity Canyon, and her super is good as well as it hits a lot of people and she charges it often and fast. So, and then at six, we have Spike. Spike, a good boss in my opinion, good on both maps for the most part, does a decent amount of damage, good reload, does area damage, his super slows people down, allows him to run away some. Um, he's not crazy good. He's more like decent on both maps. He's not great on either, I would say. All right, and then at number five, we have Barley. Barley, really good on Calamity Canyon. Probably one of the top three brawlers for Calamity Canyon. Probably top 10 on Hall of the Mole King, but his ability to deal area damage is huge. He hits people very easily, really fast reload, so he can spam his attacks a lot, and then he can start spamming his super. So he's definitely one of the better bosses. And then at number four, we have probably one of the most used brawlers, and that's Mortis. Mortis got a bit of a nerf recently since his attack range is now not as far. He doesn't dash as far, which is a really big ability as why he was good as a boss. So I think he would have been higher um, before that nerf. But after the nerf, I'm putting him at four. He's still a good boss. His ability to escape up the map on both of those maps is still really good. He can get away from a lot of different situations. He can dash behind and out of wall and into cover. So he's a good boss. His soul and his healing isn't a big factor for him as it's heavily reduced as a boss. So it really only heals, you know, like, I don't know. I'm guessing here a 50th of his health, a hundredth of his health, and really not that much. But he's still a good boss. All right, and now we're going to get into some of the spawners. So at number three, we have Jesse. Jesse and her turret are great as a boss. Her turret has a ton of health, does a lot of damage. And in a situation where it's one versus five, the ability to have that extra thing where 
they have to attack that turret to get to you or if they don't it's going to deal a lot of damage to them it makes her really good as a boss it's really hard to ignore that turret and honestly she's able to have her turret up a majority of the time as she can change shots off people and it gets her a good amount of hits as well so it's decent damage and it gets a lot of hits and then her turret helps her recharge it as well so a lot of times she's able to have her turret up a good amount. She's definitely one of the best bosses and she's good on both maps for the most part, but she's a little bit better on Calamity Canyon. Now at number two, we have the other spawner and that's Nita. Nita, definitely one of the stronger bosses. Her bear is very hard to ignore and like Jessie, she's able to have her bear up a majority of the time. Nita's attack goes through people, has a decent range, and has a really fast reload. And with the buff to, Jess, to Nita recently where the bear moves a little bit faster, that definitely helps Nita out. So Nita is one of the best bosses in the game. And you can probably guess who I have as the best boss in the game. As Crow. Crow, in my opinion, is good on both maps. I don't think I would have him as the best brawler on either map, but I think he's the top in the top three brawlers for both of those maps, and that's where he gets that number one ranking. His ability to move around very fast, and his daggers actually deal a good amount of damage, so he has that going for him. He does a good amount of damage at close range, so he can deal with melee brawlers, and then he can jump away very easily. He gets his super a decent amount, so that's where you see Crow rank so high. He moves very fast. He can escape easily with his super and he does a good amount of damage and it's kind of area damage as well as it's a good amount of spread on his attack um, with Crow. So he's able to deal with people very easily and then he can jump away. So he has a combination of a good amount of damage with good maneuverability. That's where you see Crow as my number one best boss. Okay, so now let's get into my rankings for the best overall brawlers in boss fight and to me I heavily weighted the brawlers ability to kill bosses that's the most important thing as five out of six times you're gonna be not the boss so the ability to kill the boss is the most important factor by far for me in this ranking but the ability to be a good boss is still a little bit of a factor as well it's not forgotten and before I get into this, I just want to address one of the most used brawlers, Mortis. He's not in my top 10. I have him at 11. To me, he doesn't. He isn't good enough versus bosses to be ranked in my top 10 for overall. All right, so number 10, I have Bull. So Bull is pretty good versus bosses. He has a good amount of damage at close range. He has high health, so some bosses are not able to kill him right away. But one of the reasons he's decent for his bosses is his super. It allows him to catch up to some of those bosses that move very fast or have supers that escape away. Is That's a key trait as a boss. So that's where Bull is at number 10. He can super into bosses uh, when he's far away and catch up to them and deal a lot of damage and get right back in the action. As the ability to get in the action is definitely key to killing bosses fast as you'd want to try and beat the clock so that ability is definitely good with Bull, and he does a great amount of damage at close range. And Hall of the Mole King, he's definitely one of the better ones since there's all those walls. Calamity Cannon, not so much, but he's still decent. All right, at number nine, we have another shotgun character. We have Daryl. Daryl, similar to Bull, he does able to super into the action, and it goes even further. So he's able to catch up even easier on some of those maps. But he does a little bit more damage than Bull, so that's where I have him ranked a little bit higher as well. But he's still pretty similar to Bull. Okay, and then at number 8, we have one of the better bosses. We have Nita. So Nita, to me, is a little bit lacking in the ability to kill bosses. The range isn't the greatest, but the bear is pretty good, able to sandwich the boss and force the boss to go in certain directions. Having that 6 person or a tribute on the map is definitely helpful in different situations as really you want to gang up on bosses and that's really how you can kill them force them into certain directions and force them into your teammates that's where nita is pretty decent versus bosses and then at number seven we have tara tara doesn't deal a lot of damage but it's really her super that uh has her as decent versus bosses all these brawlers that are being ranking higher as good versus bosses, they have super abilities that either slow down the boss, they interrupt the boss, um, things like that where they can make it easy for your teammates to gang up on the boss and catch up to the boss 
and attack the boss all at once. So that's where Tar is a pretty decent first boss. Pulls the boss in and makes it easy for your teammates to throw their supers on the boss or all attack it at once. And then at number six, I have Crow. So Crow doesn't deal a lot of damage, but can reduce the damage the boss deals, which can be important, and is able to catch up to the boss fairly easily. So that's where you see Crow as one of the higher ranked brawlers versus bosses. And then at number five, we have Spike. So Spike, as I was saying earlier, has that ability to slow down the boss, and that is definitely key. Doesn't deal a lot of damage, but can throw around corners a little bit, which can be useful, and has a decent reload now. It's really that super ability that is so key um, that makes Spike decent versus bosses, and is Spike is a pretty good boss himself as well. So, and then at number four, a similar situation as number five, we have Barley. Barley is good versus bosses, great on Calamity Canyon, decent on Hall of the Mole King, but can sort of pin uh, bosses and force them to go in certain directions, or at least make them think they have to go in certain directions, especially with his super, can cover a good amount of area and deal a good amount of damage as well, and Barley is good as a boss. All right, and then at number three, this is a brawler who wasn't in my top 10, for as a boss, just the ability to deal damage is almost unparalleled, and that's Colt. Colt is very good versus bosses, deals a lot of damage, did get nerfed a little bit with the range, but that super is still great as it can mow down some of those walls that the bosses are hiding behind, and it can also get rid of some of the grass on Hall of the Mole King, making it harder for bosses to hide, and that's definitely a key ability. So that's where you see Colt at number three. Not the best boss, an okay boss, but does so much damage, and that's definitely a huge factor for killing bosses fast, and you you need people on your team who can do that. Now, at number two, I have someone who's decent as a boss and good versus boss, and that's Shelly. Shelly does a lot of damage behind, in close quarters up behind those walls and is a decent boss, but it's really that super that helps a lot, does a good amount of damage, and slows down the boss is a huge ability, so that's why you see Shelly at number two overall. Now, can you guess my number one? It is someone who was on my top 10 for bosses, but wasn't ranked very high. It's really the ability to deal damage that ranks this brawler so high. My number one brawler overall in boss fight is Ricochet. Ricochet has a great ability to shoot around walls and to me is able to deal the most damage versus bosses on both of those maps there's good places where you can bounce shots and with the ability to have so much range Ricochet is almost never out of the action even with the escape ability of a lot of these brawlers as boss Ricochet can keep shooting at them from a long distance and have good bounce shots and deal good damage and is a not bad boss as well so that's where you see Ricochet as my best brawler in boss fight all right guys what did you think what brawler would you have ranked differently all right guys thank you so much for watching the video i hope you enjoyed good luck in boss fight today and i will see you guys later